Come on, say amen. amen. And so that's where the problem lies. So that's where the problem lies. When you can't get people to work for the kingdom because they haven't given themselves to the kingdom. And they might be saved, but yet they, have a, they still need to be delivered or filled with the Spirit because there's many refillings. You can't, what you, how you submitted to the Holy Spirit yesterday is yesterday. It's a new day to submit to the Holy Spirit. Don't you understand? I hear the Holy Ghost talking. Not only is the Holy Spirit waiting for you to wake up, but Satan is waiting for you to wake up. Amen. And both of them kind of, kind of, uh, kind of fighting. I ain't going to say fighting, but who can kind of try to position themselves for who, who's going to be submitted to? Are you listening? That's why we really need to even pray for you go to bed at night and pray and meditate. Are you listening? So even as you, as you sleep, I'm, Lord, I give myself over to you. So when I wake up, the first thing on my mind is tell God, thank you. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Are you with me? As for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. Are you listening? Amen. Do you love him today? Amen. So let's read again. Behold, I come quickly. How many know he's coming quickly? He's coming quickly. You better believe it. You better believe it. We got to live like it. We don't know when. So I don't know when. But he's coming when we think not, according to the scripture, according to his word. And his word is true. And blessed is he that keepeth the sand of this book, prophecy of this book. Drop down to the 12th verse. Again, he said, I come quickly. He said, I come quickly. Now, his quickly and our quickly is two different things. Amen. And we have to just, but as we stay one day, I believe in doing it one day at a time. I can't live safe for tomorrow. So yesterday is gone. One day at a time, I submit myself to you. Have your way. Raise your hands. Have your way. Have your in me, in Holy me. Spirit. Holy First of all, raise them against Welcome. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Now, actually, he's supposed to live in you. He's supposed to live in you. So welcome, Holy Spirit. I honor you. Have your way. And his number one focus and agenda is that we will glorify Jesus. Even when we were saying, holy, wonderful, marvelous. The Holy Spirit is so pleased when you know Jesus is getting the maximum affection and love from our praise. And it benefits you when you get your mind on what's at home, for dinner, what game, other things, and begin to focus on Jesus. It blesses your spirit. <clears throat> you can't truly praise God and he don't touch you. You touch the heart of God, he going to touch you. If you came in here now, if you just praise him. What well, the scripture says, for, for sorrow, praise. The garment, say the garment of praise. If you're in sorrow, you in sorrow, if you just praise and put on the garment of praise, that I'm going to take off this garment of worry and, God, and put on the garment of praise. Unto God, say unto God. Meaning I'm going to push through all anxiety and all other things that's trying to get in my mind and focus on I'm going to praise you anyhow. I'm going to break through the ice of it and praise you anyhow. Get out of this pit and praise you anyhow. I saw a lady wrote a book, Get Out of the Pit. <clears throat> if you're in a pit, get out of the pit. Amen. And praise God. He said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work should be. Look at, are you looking at the 12th verse? Amen. What are you doing for God? What are you doing for God? What are you doing for the kingdom? A lot of people like to sit. I just like to come to church and sit. I don't like to do nothing. It feels good. Just want to hear a good sermon. Just want to keep hearing about the kingdom. I want God to move me, but you don't want to move God. Come on, so this is relationship. I hear her go, so I have a duty, I have a duty. to move God. To move I, have God. I have a duty to please God. Come on, so I have, I have a duty to do something to bring pleasure to God. We're in this body. You, you want to feel good in your body. Are you with me? You want to stay well, but then you want to enjoy life. Jesus has it. I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly to the full. His life is the kingdom life. His life is righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. I'm realizing that Jesus, if anybody won't be happy, Jesus wants you happy. Are you listening? And if we don't keep meditating and keep coming, then if you're in and out and in and out, you get far and far behind. Then you got to catch up because then the enemy, you know, just because the farther you get back, when you're out there for a while, you're out for a couple of days, saying to put something in your spirit, and when you do decide to come back, then he begins to still talk in, in your mind while you're in church because he still don't want you to get what, you, what God has for you. As that brother Pastor Chris said years ago, he said, when he came, he said God is a progressive God. And we got to be progressive. The Bible said the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence takes us by force. I want to learn in God. I don't want to keep failing. Amen. I said, I don't want to keep failing in my grade in Christ. Amen. I want to get promoted to him because I've learned to obey, learn to be faithful, learn to show up, learn to be diligent, learn to be committed to him. 
Are you listening? As stern as I may minister at different times, but it's all for J-E-S-U-S. Pass is mean, but it's for J-U-S-U-S. You know I'm really not mean. When I finish put this Bible down, I'm the nicest man in this church you ever met. But when I put the Bible in my hand and go to teach, I'm a, devil, I'm a different man. Amen. I'm on assignment. Amen. But the whole point, I just want you to be committed to him because if you knew it, all he had for you, my arms cannot stretch wide enough for all God had for you if you would just be committed to his kingdom. And he first says, love the king with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. And some people still struggle with those two. But you got, to, it's not, come on, say it's not going to change. Come on, say it's not going to change. You got to love him and whoever don't love you, he's still pointing to you, but I love you. I love you. They ain't speaking to you, but I'm speaking to you. I die for you. Come on, it's all in that. That's all in. It's all in that right there. And I got it. I got it. I got it. Because I don't want to. My relationship with Jesus means everything to me. I'm not going to try to act like I'm not human because I want people to love me too. And Jesus wanted them to love him too. But when all things said and done, I only want to do those things that please my father. And what's on father's mind? Saving the enemy. Saving those who won't speak to you. Strengthening you and building you up. Somebody said, Lord, help me today. Help me today. Help me today. And the rapture is too close to not to forgive. To have any bitterness. And we want to do all we can. I was listening to George Miles and Kenneth Copeland a while back saying that if anybody got any iniquity and strife in their ministry, they don't tolerate it. They get around there. George Miles said we talked to him one time and that's it. Because there's no time for strife. No time for bitterness. Are you, it separates you from God. Amen. You can't really hear God if you're bitter. You can't really hear God if you got strife in you. Yeah. And if Jesus has to be iniquity in your heart, he won't hear you. Iniquity is a seed that Satan planted, Jesus. not God. Amen. Let's focus on the blessing. Let's focus on what God's trying to get to you. Trying to make you debt free. Raise you up in him and put bless you. I told you, if he's giving somebody a ring on their finger who are backslid and left God and a den and a party for coming back, what are you going to do for the believer that's steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord? Yeah. Having left God, stay connected to the kingdom. Yeah. You know you got abundance coming. Yeah. But he loves so much if you do retreat, I'm going to celebrate you. Yeah. And when, he, when you do come back, there's always somebody who's upset because you came back. Yeah. But you can't worry about that. You came back to miss hell. You came back to be blessed by God. You came back to where you belong in the kingdom of God. Somebody say, in the kingdom of God. Do you appreciate being in the kingdom? Do you appreciate him being your king? Then you had to tell the devil when he's telling you, all this church, shut up, Satan. Because in the king, in Satan's kingdom, he worked you harder or he didn't had you doing more than you're doing for the church. Some of y'all told me had you working seven days a week. So Lord help me today. Lord, help me so again, behold, I come quickly over here and amplify. Behold, I'm coming soon. He's coming soon. Yes. I keep hearing I say, yes, Lord, I believe you're coming soon. So Lord, help me Lord, to walk upright up each and every day. Each and I told you, if you listen to the Holy Spirit, you'll make heaven. Yes. He's here to help us. How many, anybody want the Holy Spirit help? I want the Holy Spirit help. Ain't no time for attitude. Ain't time for to have no bad spirit. Yeah. Says no time to come and cry. But see, even though we're talking to you like this, if you don't pray, you're going to have a bad spirit. If you don't get in God's face, you're going to be you. But if you get in God's face, you'll be like Jesus. You'll be in his image. We all got to pray. Come on, so we all got to pray. Hallelujah. As I, even I said in the Bible, so let's get in prayer. So if any of these members of ours get sick or some reporting coming with cancer, all of us come together and pray and bombard heaven and put that spirit out of that person's body because we love one another that much. You don't just pray because your immediate family is sick. You pray because your blood sisters are, are sick. And God will come in and heal if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray. Seek my faith. Turn from their wicked ways. And a lot of their wicked ways are being selfish. Pray for nobody but you and yours. Then he will hear from heaven. He'll forgive our sins and heal the land. Amen. Lord, help us today. Come on, say, that's kingdom, that's kingdom, that's kingdom. In the kingdom of God, we got to love all. We got to love one another. We got to pray for one another. So again, behold, I'm coming soon. And I shall bring my wages and my rewards for me to repay and render to everyone just what his own actions and his own works merit. 13 verse, let's read. Again, 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 13 verse, read. I'm Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and Come on, see, he said it in the beginning of the chapter. In, the, in Revelation, the fourth chapter, first chapter, seven verse, I believe it is. When we first started, 
Get my notes right. Eighth verse, in the beginning of that book, then at the end, he says, I'm still Alpha. I'm the beginning. I'm the ending. I'm Alpha and Omega. The beginning, I'm the end, the end. Your job, you don't come in this world and all of a sudden now you're supposed to be saved and you're still treating other things before God. Amen. Only God is Alpha and Omega. Lift your hands to the Lord, you are, you are, you are. Lift your hands to the Lord, you are, you are. Stop being real wimpy with it. Lord, you are. You are first. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are the beginning. You are the end. Oh, you listen, don't be moved by your job. I don't care what they got there. I don't care how big them ships are, them aircraft carriers are. Whatever company you work with got you, them blows your mind. There's nothing greater than God. Amen. The riches, I'll say not only Jesus, but what God has for you. I ain't even touched what Jesus and Father have. The richest billionaire, we read in the Bible, said the richest billionaire in the world has still has, is not even a drop in the bucket what God has for you. Amen. You that love him, you that serve him. Amen. I want what God has for me. Amen. So I want what God has for me. And his kingdom, the kingdom of God, must be honored, reverent, greatly supported Amen. to be benefited from its existence. Amen. So the kingdom of God kingdom truly of exists. exists. It exists, it, it always has. But to benefit from it, we must honor him. Amen? Amen? Come on, say easy. easy. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. Easy, without struggle, without difficult. Greatly honor him. Are you listening? We shouldn't be teaching that. We just talked about rebellion. But there shouldn't be no rebellion in church because it lives in every heart. Amen. Do he live in you today? Amen. Tell the truth. Does he live on you today? Amen. And I told you we're not real. Say, so we're, we're not real. If we only come in here and talk and honor him as king in here, and during the week, as soon as we go out the door, he's no longer king. Yes. Then that means we're hypocrite. Yes. We're in hypocrisy. Yes. And all hypocrisy is going to be exposed. Yes. Amen? Yes. You can leave out of this church. He, this is holy ground. And when you walk out, he still owns the ground out there. Yes. And, and down 58. And wherever you're going, two and four, he's king. Yes. Say he's king. Yes. Go to first, second Peter now. Y'all hot? Let me turn the air on, Minister Gladys. Go ahead. Turn it on. About 72, I guess. I don't want y'all to miss nothing. But how many know the flames will be even hotter? I'm trying to keep you from missing the flames. Yes, I want to see him. Look upon his face. His kingdom. Amen? Amen. We, can't be blown, we, can't, you know, we can't be blown by what the world is doing. I was in Florida a few weeks ago, and I mean, just beautiful buildings and things, and, 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 and it's not a short, just going to Florida, there's no shortage of money in the earth. Ain't no shortage of money. And if the wicked got it, God knows he wants the righteous to have it. If we just submit to him and obey him, are you listening? You shall eat the good of the land. Second Peter. Second Peter, the first chapter. Second Peter, the first chapter. Where we're going here, because I want you to know, as I said, as you honor God, reverence, and greatly support him, you can benefit from his existence. But if you don't, you cannot benefit from the kingdom. All right, start in the second chapter, first verse. There's benefits. So there's benefits. Plenty. And Simon Peter, servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God, how do we get it? Precious faith through the righteousness of God, our Savior Jesus Christ. Say, through righteousness, through righteousness I, receive I receive from the kingdom. From the Come on, say, through righteousness, through righteousness I, receive I receive from the kingdom. And then we told you, what is the kingdom? What, what is the kingdom? The kingdom of God is what? Righteousness, peace, joy, and the Holy Ghost. Think about it. Righteousness, peace, joy. Now, we ought to know that where there's righteousness, there's no iniquity. Amen. Where there's righteousness, there's forgiveness. Amen. There's love. And we do it because of Jesus. I don't know nothing else to tell you why you should love but Jesus. There's no other. If you don't accept that, ain't nothing I can do to help you. Ain't no sense of me trying to bring nobody else's name in. It must stop at Jesus Christ loving him, appreciating what he did on the cross. And he did it all to restore us back in place. As the Bible says, it pleased the Father to bruise him. To know I'm getting my children back. I'm getting you back. I'm getting him back. I'm getting all of them back to come serve me. And even after Jesus died, some still don't want to serve him. But I'm locked in. He died for me. I want to live for him. 
Some even after dying don't want to live for him, don't want to be faithful. They're said with their mouth, but their heart is far from him. Yeah. Jesus said that in his word. And so it's time that we really appreciate what Jesus did for us. He not only, he only didn't die and rescue me from the flames, but he blessed me so he can set me back in the heavenly places. Are you listening? He wants me rich. He wants me prospering. He wants me that wherever I put my foot, I can, I can claim it. I can prosper. Are you, you got to get it in your spirit. If not, you'll just live a whole life. Just be glad you ain't going to hell and don't access all else what God has for you. When he said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. His kingdom is not just coming alone. Yes, it is to help to keep us from hell, but also to establish his kingdom from the beginning that we will have dominion in the earth, that we'll be we'll blessed. Yeah. So that we're blessed. That we're blessed. And it's not delay delaying God, the delay is in us. Amen. Again, Simon Peter, a servant, an apostle. And that's good too. He was an apostle, but we are servants for it. We got to serve a servant spirit to the kingdom. And when you do, the Bible said, when you obey him, no longer call you servant, but he'll share with you. He'll call you what? Amen. To them that obtain, look at this, like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God. Say the righteousness of God. Righteous look at it. Say the righteousness of God. Righteous so of I, serve God. I serve a righteous God. So I, must, I serve a righteous God. And I must be righteous. It's a choice. With us through the righteousness of God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Savior, Savior. He saved you. And he's still being Savior. He's still keeping you from death. Amen. He's still keeping you from destruction. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that within me, bless his holy name. Is he, is he really living in you? Amen. Say, he's in me. Yeah. I got to add to it. Yeah. Come on, say, he's in me, yeah. and I got to add to it. Yeah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All that's in my mind. That's why you got to put some word in your mind. Yeah. And some word in your heart, yeah. so you can bless God. Sometimes we're telling people, raise your hand. Yeah. But if you ain't fed your spirit, got in this book, meditate on him to put something in you before you came. That's why it's so difficult to raise this up. Yeah. Because I don't have nothing yeah. enough in me. Yeah. And when you don't let God feed yourself what God wants to put in you, yeah. you know God, got, Satan has some junk to feed your spirit. Right. Oppression, depression, everything opposite from God. Come on, say amen. amen. But I, we sung a song, fill my cup, Lord. Yeah. Let it overflow. Yeah. Say, let it overflow. Amen. And I don't want to say, fill it, so I want no more. I want some more. Because the more you get, you don't want more. Somebody say, more, more and more, more and more. I know it seems like it rhymes. Fill my cup, Lord. Yeah. I give it up, Lord. Yeah. Come and cleanse this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want some more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and bring me home. I want some more, Lord. Lift your hands, Lord. I want some more. So, Lord, even though it's overflowing, give me some more. I, look, I want that that's flowing over the glass, but Brother Alton. Slipped out my mind. Minister, that's who you are. You know, just think about you pouring a glass and it's running over. And you know how sometimes we had in the world, you'd be trying to. Maybe not a duck, so we ain't doing it, but. Get it all. All right, third, second verse, grace and peace be multiplied unto you because I redeemed you with my precious blood through the knowledge of God. Knowledge of God. You got to get in the word yourself and hear the word. Are you with me? Amen. And then it says, and of Jesus our Lord. Third verse, read. According as his divine power. Now his power, his power. Read what? Some things. Keep, keep reading. That pertain to life and godliness. This goes together. Many people want a car. They want a house. They want stuff from God, but they don't want it with godliness. Yeah. And when it's not with godliness, it's with sorrow. You got to know God is the owner of all things. He has it in his word. All things are yours. All things are for the, those that love me. All things are for my kings and priests. All things are for my ambassadors. All things are for my sons and daughters. Those who belong to me. All things. I'm understanding. Don't worry about what you're going to eat or drink. Don't worry about clothes. It's already available in the kingdom. When you're on the military, you don't worry about them giving you boots. They told you when you